The PlayStation 2 had some pretty cool games for their gun con controller, and yes, you can use this aim track light gun to play on the PlayStation 2 emulator. I do just want to forewarn you though, it's not that simple. There's quite a bit of steps involved. And as far as accuracy and things like that, I had the trickiest problem with this emulator compared to like the Wii emulator, Techno Parrot, and MAME. But that being said, I actually used a um a coin ops build that I did a review on. I'll put a link in the description that has all these light gun games. But um, I'll, I'll link with you both if you want to start from scratch, and then also if you want to start with a pre-built thing. Um, but it's uh, once you get the hang of it, 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 it's pretty simple. It's just getting over that first hurdle of getting it all set up in the first place. But um, between the PlayStation 2 emulator and the aim track utility, you, there's a lot of customization to get it really tweaked to where you want it. They're coming. So first I want to give credit where credit is due. This Argon gentleman uh, really did a really good tutorial here. And um, it's it's just it seems really cumbersome. I just want to break this down for you really quick is the installation is installing from scratch. A lot of you already have the emulator installed. You just gotta make the the new V plugin and add that. And then like what he's asking you to do in some of these steps is just to make it simpler for you. Like some of the stuff is just optional to make this a simpler process. And then he really tries to explain to you like exactly what is going on in the background. And so if you don't grasp everything, I don't think it's that necessarily important. I think you can get through it. And then he goes into two player mode, which a lot of you won't even be doing step three. And then the step four and step five is really just to make it so it's seamless. So you never have to mess with these, these controls again. But a lot of you out there like to tinker, so steps four and five are kind of optional. And then uh, these issues are, you know, you can, that's very one off situations. So in this video, though, I, I'm not going to necessarily do this entire tutorial because I already have a light gun collection, a coin ops collection. So I did just want to show you though that this is when you get the new V file, it's going to have this and basically it's all your PS1 and PlayStation 2 uh, files in order to get the config files to get started. And you would just drag those into the proper emulator. Now I want to show you my coin ops build if you go to emulators, PS2. And uh, I did a video on this, I'll, I'll show that coin ops build later, but they already have config files for the game specifically. And then if you go to Inus, you have your newbie stuff here. And it's also in your plugins as well. We have our newbie PS2 USB plugin. So that's what they were saying here in the first few steps. And all that's been done for you here with this particular plugin. Now, it wasn't quite perfectly set up though. Let's go ahead and launch the emulator here. This is the PlayStation 2 emulator. And I just want to go through a couple of things that he did in the video. Number one, emulation settings. GS window, he, he, this might be checked for you at first. You might wanna uncheck that so you can see your mouse on your screen, it's gonna help you set things up. I actually kinda of like to leave it on, but a lot of you, that's annoying to you. You can uncheck that and check that. Number two, he says to uncheck this default to full screen, cause you're, you're going to want to go ahead and um, get into you know windowed mode so you can edit your controls in the different games. And then the other one is make sure this is unchecked as well, double click toggle the full screen mode. That's just because think about it, if you're hitting your trigger all the time, it's gonna to be toggling full screen mode, so you don't want that. Um, so, and just make sure you hit apply when you're done there. That's all you wanna do in the emulation settings. The plugin BIOS selector, it, sh it might actually just start with your BIOS here. And he goes into how to set this up. You know, a lot of this is gonna be set up for you already, so we can skip that step. And that's just, you know, getting your, this has nothing to do with the gun. This has to do with the emulator itself. When you go into plugins, this is where you need to change it. Uh, Lilypad is fine here. I don't think you have to configure anything here. Um, it's really the USB, or yeah, you wanna make sure that he did mention these. You wanna turn direct input on here. You wanna disable this. I think that's all I did there. You And I don't know if this always hides cursor overwrites the one that we already did earlier. Remember we hit it already in the just a couple seconds ago earlier in the video now this one will be defaulting to one of these i forget which one i think this null driver go ahead and change it to ps2 the new v1 
And then here's where it's really important that I didn't do when I first started up is what do you actually have in your ports? And you want to definitely do none here. I didn't do this in the one because if you do, unless you have two players, obviously, then you want to do another one. But if you're playing single player, make sure you do none here because otherwise it's going to ask you to um, configure both guns before you start any of these games out. Here are some of the other settings you're going to want. And then go ahead and go to config. And this is where different games have different um, settings. So you can see here that I have different games here and you can set their alignments up and then go ahead and set them and that's going to be like your edges you're going to need edges different edges for like how far the left and right the gun could go um you know do you want semi or manual reload do you want to be able to see the crosshair or is it hidden and you could set these up for different games and then acquire is you know to do that final settings to make sure it 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 sees your gun. I will go ahead and go through that process on one of the games uh, shortly. And this really matters right here: the left, the right, and the middle. So left would be your trigger. Right is the I think believe middle is actually translates to your right red button on the aim track, and then this one is your left uh, aim track. And if you want, you can do A plus B plus trigger equals start. So when you hit all three buttons on your aim track light gun, it registers it as the start button. Make sure your aim track utility software looks like this. Make sure you got that middle button bound. And then this is how you calibrate the gun per game. Hit the acquire, follow the prompts, move your gun around until it accepts it. Then you're good to go. Then you can load a game. So here's a little bit of the gameplay. <laughs> I need to mess a little bit lab. around with the configurations and double check all my files for all the different games. This is kind of just a down and dirty of where everything is stored. Jesse's getting ready to go to work. I need to plug in the power if you want. Rumble. Not bad for a day's work. Boy, the sheriff's gonna be mad. You know, Z, I've been thinking. After this, we should take a trip. Somewhere up north. Z? Jesse, you took my brother. So now I'm taking your gold and your girl. Now drive, Z. Jesse! Yeah. Can't kill me. We spread the law, Crisis zone. <laughs> 